You've probably seen the thumbnail and ended up here thinking, I'm going to get some really good clips and some really good tips on how to be the best streamer I can be. And I want to tell you first things first. Unfortunately, as an itty bitty little streamer myself who's not made many waves over on Twitch, that's not going to be the case. What I can do though, is share with you my three top tips to what I have found helpful in streaming and building and growing an audience, no matter how small it might be, and getting the most enjoyment out of your time or whilst you're creating content. So let's get into it. So welcome, my name is PastorGaming196, as you can see from above, and I am a small-time affiliate streamer over on Twitch, as mentioned earlier. And today I'm going to be just sharing my personal, my free personal top tips on streaming, my own advice, because over the last couple of weeks, months, in my very short time of streaming on Twitch, I've had a lot of people say to me, you know, what would you do? What advice can you give? How can you help someone in my situation? So if you are a smaller streamer or if you're someone who is in a very similar situation to me, then hopefully this will be able to help you. Now it's worth saying that my advice won't be the advice that everyone will give. And you may agree or disagree. You may see other people saying the complete opposite to me. But as I said, this is just my personal three pieces of advice that I would give to anyone really who is looking at getting into streaming or who is streaming now. So let's start with number three, shall we? So starting with my third point, and this is the one that I always kind of start with, not because it's the most important or the least important, but just because it's the one that naturally comes to my brain as something that I have had to learn over my very short time streaming and that is to play the games you want to play to play the games that you enjoy i have spent a lot of time on twitch playing through 101 different games trying out 101 different things and sometimes sticking with a game that i just didn't like thinking i was going to get the better audience reaction or the higher viewership out of it and actually i just found myself miserable and to be fair, with no one really hanging out because they can tell. People will be able to tell if you're not enjoying the game that you're playing, if you're not having fun. And they want to see you having fun. They're there to see you enjoy yourself. So one of the things that I've always said to people, one of the things that I try and remember now is you have a certain game that you like. You have a certain genre. It might be variety. It might be horror. It might be FPS. It might be platformers who knows what it might be but if you enjoy a certain type of game lean into that have fun with it because people who are coming to watch you will one be coming to watch that kind of content but two will be coming to watch someone who is quite clearly enjoying the games that they are playing and having fun with it and they're more likely to want to stick around and to come back knowing that they're watching someone who actually cares about the content that they're putting out as I say, I've spent so much time playing games that I haven't necessarily enjoyed or that have just kind of got on my nerves and made me angry. And it shows. It definitely shows. I, for one, am a variety streamer, but I love, 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 love story based games, something with a rich story where you get to make your own choices. And my community know that and they recognize that. And I have seen that in the couple of years that I've been streaming, they have spent much more time in those kind of streams than they have anything else because they understand that that is where I'm going to shine. Secondly, take time to engage with your audience. Now, if you're anything like me, talking comes naturally. I can talk and talk and talk and talk. And if anything, I sometimes find that I can put people off with the amount that I talk. But maybe it doesn't come naturally to you. Maybe you're someone that, unless there's a good flow of conversation going on in your community or in your channel, you find it hard to think about what to talk about next or find it hard to keep going. 
But I want to encourage you to continue that, to keep trying to have those conversations. Ask open-ended questions. Talk about the game that you're playing. If no one's talking, start talking through your thought process, what you're doing, what's happening next, what's going to, you know, what, what you're trying to achieve from this bit of gameplay. And you will eventually grow and get this understanding of how to talk to yourself, how to keep the conversation going. And it will feel weird. A lot of streaming I have found in my very early stages is talking to myself. And as I say, for me, I find that easy. And if you are someone that does talk a lot, if you are a chatty person, then you will probably just thrive at this. And actually, your, your struggle will be knowing when to stop talking and leave space for chat to do their thing. And that is important as well, leaving space for your community to also guide some of the conversation. But that's another thing to look out for. If you see a topic of conversation in your community, and of course, you're the, you're the streamer, you're in control. If you find that a sensible and good conversation to go with, then lean into it. If it's something that you can really get invested in, then do so. Ask those open-ended questions that draw people into that topic. But also remember one other thing, that you have a personality coming into this, that you are someone who has interests, has likes, has dislikes. Don't be afraid to a certain degree to draw on those because you will probably share those interests and those likes with other people, but you're never going to know if you don't try. I, for one, have a great uh, love for kind of fitness and sports. And one of the times that I brought it up in my community, I had a whole group of people that were interested in that. And I was able to actually draw on something that I really care about. It's the same with the Star Wars stuff behind me, as you'll see. I can talk about Star Wars for days. And I know that a lot of my community can. So I'm going to lean into that as much as possible. So try to practice that. Try to practice just talking to yourself if no one's talking to you. And if you've got a chat that's moving fast, if you've got a chat that's going quickly and you're missing messages, don't worry about it. Take time between games to go back and to read some of it if you want, but don't worry about that. Read what you can, make the time to be there, to be present, and just be welcoming and fun and have a laugh. Because the communities that or the people that come to your channels want to see that. They want to see you engaging and having fun. My final tip, my final piece of advice that I give to every single person, and this for me is where it really gets important and where it really matters. Be authentic be you you are a person who has your own personality your own likes your own dislikes the your own thoughts the things that make you tick you are you in the same way that i am me and that all of those other streamers out there doing what they're doing are them be who you want to be now i'm not saying that there is anything wrong with taking inspiration from various streamers I, for one, have taken inspiration from multiple streamers that I spend a lot of time watching. And if you see something that you think might work, then as long as you're not stealing their entire branding, it's not a bad idea to maybe just tweak it and test it out and see if it works for you and your community. But don't go into this thinking, well, this works for Tim the Tatman, or this works for Dr. Looper, or this works for whoever it might be because it probably won't work for you. The reason why Tim the Tatman and Dr. Lupo and all of these big streamers are so successful is because they are them. They have their niches, they have their things. If you try to be the copycat, you're just gonna get shut down. And also, there is only one version of you. There is only one you out there and people will, believe it or not, come for that. People will come to get to know you. People will come to see who you are. Your personality, the, the person that you are, will draw people in. You may not believe that, and that's a confidence thing. And trust me, I've suffered from that myself. But the best thing that you can do is be authentic, 
be yourself find your niche what makes you pop what makes you special what is it that is going to draw people in about you that is real to you and these are all really important things and these all take time i've been streaming for just coming up to two years now and i still have not found my niche the thing that makes me different to everyone else i don't think but i am aware that in everything i try to do i have to do it authentically i have to do it as pastor gaming 196 would as ben the person behind the camera would because there is only one of me and that's really important to remember So to recap, we've got my three pieces of advice. Play the games that you want to play because frankly, you're going to enjoy it more and your community are going to enjoy it more. Secondly, take the time to engage in your community, to engage in the chat. If there is no chat, then talk through what you're going to be doing in that game. What's your next move? Why are you thinking about doing this next? If there is a conversation starter that you can think of, then go with it, run with it. You've got nothing to lose. But keep practicing that engagement, that conversation, and you will become a natural at it eventually. And thirdly, and in my opinion, most importantly, be authentic, be you, be real, be who you are, because people will come for that and they will stay for that. They will keep coming back because there will be something about you that draws them in. If you are real and authentic, there will be something about you. So, there's my three tips, the three pieces of advice that I tend to give to anyone that comes into my community and channel asks me, what advice would you give? What tips would you give? And you might be sat there right now saying, actually, that was complete rubbish. Don't do any of those things. Or... I've already been doing those things and it's pretty obvious that's what you do. And if that's you, if you agree or dis or don't agree, then that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But if you are here watching this video for the first time thinking I want to get involved in streaming and I don't know how or, you know, I've been doing this for a long time and nothing's happening, then maybe this advice might just help you out. It's stuff that I'm still practicing at. It's stuff that I'm still learning at. But it's stuff that is helping me. And I hope in one way or another it can also help you so if it does help you then please do let me know by commenting on the uh on this video below or you can find the twitch channel over at pastor gaming 196 hop in at a stream at some point say hi let me know what you think it'll be great to uh connect with you and get to know you a bit more and yeah really until then guys have fun with it look after yourselves have fun making content and realistically entertaining people and putting smiles on faces because that's what it's all about and until then guys i will see you well hopefully very soon goodbye <laughs>